following the release of a photo showing him at one of the music mogul's infamous white parties, Leonardo DiCaprio has distanced himself from Sean Diddy Combs. The 49-year-old Hollywood actor hasn't been in contact with Diddy for years, according to a person close to him. The 54-year-old Combs was detained last week and charged with racketeering, sex trafficking, and trafficking in order to participate in prostitution in the Southern District of New York. The rapper faces accusations that he coerces women into freak-offs, elaborate and orchestrated sex performances. It is reported that during searches of his premises, a thousand bottles of baby oil were found. Prosecutors also claim that the long sex sessions the women in the freak-offs had left them so exhausted that they needed four drips. The Titanic star was once named by Combs as the number one person on his invitation list for the white party. Diddy has also hosted appearances by Kim Kardashian, Paris Hilton, and Mariah Carey, among other celebrities. Leo has not been in contact with Combs for years, according to a source close to the A-lister, who also claims he has nothing to do with the case and has never attended Freak Offs. On July 29, 2004, the two were seen together in public at the Democratic National Convention. In 2019, the Great Gatsby star was spotted dancing next to Combs on his 50th birthday. The source declared, Leonardo DiCaprio has absolutely nothing to do with any of this. He went to some of his parties in the early 2000s, but almost everyone went. They weren't crazy people. Huge home parties were held there. Leo had long since gone past his partying and was just starting out in his job. He has nothing to do with that world, so it is absurd for anyone to believe that he will be drawn into this from a few old, blurry pictures that date back more than 20 years. Leo is not thinking at all about Diddy's federal case, which he has nothing to do with. He is focused on his career and his relationship. A-list celebrities would throng to the waterfront property in the summer for Combs White Parties, which were hosted at his East Hampton mansion and featured some of the biggest names in American celebrity culture. A picture from the 2000 White Party features a young Leo next to Combs, who is holding a bottle of champagne and dressed in white t-shirt and shorts. Resurfaced video from Combs' 2018 Vogue 73 question session included the rapper being questioned about the top person on his list of invitees for the white party. Leonardo DiCaprio. Combs responded without pausing before offering the interviewer a drink. One drug dealer described to the New York Post the startling events he saw occurring at the opulent mansion, including well-known celebrities having sex with one another. According to the unnamed source, Combs led him through to a bedroom in the back where a cocaine sale was made after opening the door for him while only wearing a white robe. What shocked me was that I saw two people who you would not expect to be hooking up. Rappers? The dealer remarked. I won't name them, but there were several rappers that I never respected and could never take seriously again. Many of the high-status attendees, including a mix of female celebs, were high on GHB and ketamine, the dealer continued. I got the F asterisk 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 out of there at that point, he declared. Combs' $50 million bail request was denied by the judge, and he is currently being held in jail while facing federal sex offense allegations. The disgraced musician entered a not guilty plea in a Manhattan court on September 17th, after being charged with sex trafficking and transportation to engage in prostitution after his shocking arrest at the Park Hyatt Hotel in New York City. Based on a federal indictment, Combs is accused of orchestrating and recording coercive sex activities, known as freak-offs. Although there is nothing in the indictment that suggests the parties were hosted in the Hamptons, word quickly spread that his freak-off parties had taken place there decades previously. There's no indication that Leo or any other celebrities present at Combs' events were aware of any drug use or orgies.